Hey foxes, this is a video that I didn't know when I was gonna be putting back on this channel. I have not been tattooed in, since I got my neck piece, so that's been about four years? Maybe more? So yeah, I haven't been tattooed in a really long time, so I thought it'd be fun if I did a little vlog style today, taking you to my friend Eno's shop. Um, my friend Eno, about nine years ago, did this tattoo on my shin. It is a two-headed vulture um, carrying a severed girl's head. Um, there's really no meaning behind it. I just thought it sounded cool. I really love the way that severed head looks in traditional, um, how they look in traditional um, tattoo work. I also really love the way the vultures look uh, with traditional tattoo work, and I thought it'd be fun if we made it two-headed. Just to like throw a little, like, I always really like like Harry Potter and like, you know, um, just mystical, magical shows and TV shows and stuff. So I thought it would be cool to kind of like make it a two headed thing. My rescue rabbit is like trying to get out of her cage back here. It's been stressing me out. She just like does that with her mouth all day and tries to get out. But I just let her run around this morning. So I don't know what her deal is. Anyways, um, so this outline was done nine years ago on the 4th of July. Um, and the line work was is so thick and so heavy and a shin the shin is like a very painful spot to get a tattoo And the healing is almost worse than the tattoo itself because every time you stand up the blood rushes to it And you literally want to drop to your knees like it's very painful So um, I got this crazy outline that's super thick. It feels like my eyelash is coming off um, I got this crazy outline that's super thick and it hurt and I was like, yeah I don't think I need to go back for this one for a while and then I time time passed, time flew by, and uh, here we are, nine years later, and it's not done. So I figured, why not go pay my friend Eno a visit? He just opened his new shop called Big Trouble Tattoo in San Diego. So if you're ever visiting San Diego, want some traditional work, um, or you can check out some of the other artists that are there, they um, they produce really quality work. And my friend Eno is dope as fuck, and he will give you a really rad tattoo. Um, he doesn't care if it hurts though, so. Be ready for that. I don't know if I am. I just took some Advil, we'll see. Usually I take a handle of vodka with me, but I'm not gonna do that to myself today because I'm driving and I'm just gonna have to deal with it. So hopefully I can work while I'm getting tattooed and it will distract me a little bit because I know that when I work in the computer on the computer when I'm driving to LA or something, not when I'm driving, but when Ryan's driving, it goes like that. So hopefully that's the deal. I don't know what colors we're gonna do. We'll see when we get there. So I have to leave right now. Let's go and I will, uh, I'll see you guys at the tattoo shop. So like I never shave my legs, but I shaved this one patch for you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Is it weird to see a, your tattoo like nine years later? Well, it just means we gotta redo the whole fucking thing. No. This line work hurts like a bitch. Yeah, I know, but. What do we wanna do color-wise? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking some greens and purples maybe. Okay. And then I don't really care, like whatever. Um, it's like she's still alive and her head severed, so I feel like you could go either way with that one. <laughs> I think your line work held up pretty dang good. Yeah, it's just old. Feeling real good, guys. Right on the shin. I recommend getting tattooed right there for you know a handful of hours. So really good. One, one hour. <laughs> okay. You took me for a believer. We're getting there here. I think we have like an hour left. Ooh. We started about 2.30 at 6.09 and we were almost completely done getting there. Pretty handsome. Thank you. <laughs> well, you too, you know, but. Never in danger, 
And we are done. I got like a really cool green looking cast kind of thing. Yeah, it matches my nails. We're gonna go grab a drink and I'm gonna head home. Looking pretty good. All right, it's been a week and one day since I've been tattooed. I basically like to leave saran wrap on my tattoo for the first like five days, three to five days. Um, it keeps all the white blood cells and plasma and all that good stuff, juicy grossness, all up in that so it doesn't dry out. Um, I also change the saran wrap every two or so hours and wash the tattoo and then I rewrap it. For me, it helps it not get all over my sheets. It helps all of the good stuff in your blood stay in there and help heal it faster. It also prevents it from scabbing too much and peeling too much. Um, <clears throat> This time I took the saran wrap off after about four days and I'll show you what it looks like right now. We still have some flaking going on and stuff but nothing like it would have been had I just like let it dry out immediately. Um, <clears throat> Frankie's here to help show. Okay, you gotta get down. Don't scratch my tattoo. Ow! Um, it's gonna continue getting lighter um, but it kind of like, it kind of ignore, like I kind of like skip over the itchy phase too with the saran wrap, but it's just a little bit, like we gotta, we gotta slap, we gotta slap her. But um, I'm super stoked with it. I'm so excited to have this finished after freaking nine years. Um, so yeah, very exciting. And I think I might even get, whew, I think I might even get another tattoo on Saturday, not, quite that big, but just a little tattoo nonetheless. I wanted to say no regrets, because people always get tattoos wrong and it always says no regrets, like R-A-G-R-E-T-S. And I want mine to say no regrets, because people get that too, like when tattoo artists spell it wrong and I just think it's hilarious. Anyways, um, so yeah. When's the last time you got tattooed? Do you guys have tattoos? If you do, let me know if you don't have a tattoo. And if you do, let me know the last one that you got in the comments below. I'm gonna be checking it out. You can tweet me some pics, that'd be fun. Um, where, what should I get tattooed next? Let me know, you guys. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Please don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get notified when I upload a video. It takes so long. Whoa, lost you there for a second. It takes so long to edit videos and take them, and I have a lot of fun with it, but um, yeah, turn on notifications. That helps my channel out, helps me out, helps you out. 